Two sisters in Vicksburg and their landlord say they've been scammed out of money. WGTV 12's Alex Love has been following this story closely and joins us live in the studio with what they had to say. Alex. Jade, this all began back in the first week of December. The tenants say they were falling behind on their bills, so one of their friends recommended them to a lady who goes by the name of Brandy. She was supposed to help, but things went south real quick. Some type of bill consolidation that just uh, was not legal and just um, false pretense um, to help uh, my tenants um, to uh, consolidate their bills. That, that, that did not happen. And just like that, Ursula says she found herself short $800 in her account after this supposed woman named Brandy forged her name on a fake check, tricking her renters she'd pay their rent. They have never uh, deposited a check. As a matter of fact, they knew. Um, uh, this was not allowed. I'm sorry, it's just money's just not, it's hard to come back. Mm. And I am still paying for it today. To get more answers, I spoke with both sisters who wish to remain anonymous, and they say the woman who called herself Brandy also made off with their car and electric payments, totaling over $2,000 in lost funds. She gave me receipts. I got receipts for all of this. Mm. She gave me confirmation numbers. I got confirmation numbers for my light bill. She gave me a receipt for my husband's truck note. Then after exchanging paperwork, the tenants say they and the woman went through a mutual credit union drive through where she deposited her fake check made out to Ursula Kraft and signing the landlord's signature on the back to put in her account, a process they now believe should require ID. So that means anyone could write all these checks <laughs> and deposit them in my account, write my name on it, and hold me responsible. The whole situation could have been avoided if proper ID has been asked by the Telemetry Credit Union. Um, if they don't know this person, just don't assume this person is me, checks are not supposed to be deposited into my account to pay the rent. In response, Mutual Credit Union's president has reached out to speak with Ursula, and while they do not require ID to deposit a check, they claim no member's account number is ever made public, and folks should never share any of that information with anyone. We have reached out to the Vicksburg police several times, and we are waiting to hear back from them. We do know the alleged victims have filed a police report and are working closely with them. 